Do a clap. Oh my gosh. Clap sync. Clap sync. Season finale. Yes, sir. Hey, hey everybody. everybody. I'm Adam. I'm Sam. And I'm Will. And we are Working, working Title. title. <laughs> Spell. Rock show. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, we have made it to the finale of a great show. The Witcher. The Witcher. The Witcher. <laughs> Episode eight. What's season it called? Finale. Quack. Amateur. Don't look. <laughs> Much more. Much more. Much more. Last on, we had Nilfgaard doing its master plan to mm. attack Sintra. From mm. what Frangilla said, she's only interested in Sintra. The group's only interested in Sintra. That's what they said. Yeah. They're acting, they're acting like it's not Mordor and world domination. But I don't trust well, them. It's not just Sintra they've assaulted. They've assaulted other places, too. They've correct. moved their way to the yeah. south to yeah. Sintra. It's a bit fishy. And then we got Geralt, and he's on the run. We don't know where he's going to be, but we also got uh, Ciri. He was right there! Doing some Evil Dead stuff. And... Yennefer was asked to join the mages to fight off Nilfgaard. Yes. Yes. The select few who are going to help defend. Guys, if you enjoy this content, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you punch that subscription button. That really helps us out when you guys do that. And we appreciate it when you guys do that. Flick that notification bell so you get notified whenever we drop content. And comment down below. We like chatting up with you guys and talking about your theories and suggesting what shows we should watch next. This is not a market substitute. If you have not watched The Witcher, go on Netflix, check it out, then come to YouTube and watch our reaction, baby. We're going to punch it. Wow! Violence, sex, nudity, drugs, and language. Sex. Language? Sex. Mordor. In the fires of Mount Doom. That looks like Miss Tirith on fire. Fire! That's, that's what Sintra kind of looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was just talking to that guy speaking all kind of religious Oh, rhetoric. yeah. Religious shit. I already know where I'm going. It's a very small bed. The Similarian. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, very I dry. I don't have time to read this. Yeah. <laughs> it's your uh, end. Yeah. <laughs> and the king of uh, the humans in Justice League. Yep. Now they're a feast for the crows. Good book. Snooker. Don't breathe. Look at these people! Is he, is he the monster? Oh gosh. Zombies or something? He smelled something. He said something's coming. Oh. Okay. Zombies! Yeah. Or ghouls? Whoa! This is crazy. Look at the veins going down the ceiling. Whoa! What? Uh, it's the long night! I can't see it! Maybe they are zombies! But he said one bite will kill you. They got like snake tongues. They're like ghouls. Wow. Nine just thousand smeagles. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what happens if he gets bit. Oh, he, oh, did, get he did get bit. Get bit. Fuck. Cut your leg off. I wonder what his uh, health bar is compared to a human's health bar. <laughs> He's got video games to be in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not the only Witcher. He's the only sexy one I care about. Yeah. Come on, come. Get up now. Is this the woman from the previous episode? Dude, this girl. If it is, <gasps> if it is, this lady's been like adamant about caring Helping for her. her. Yeah. Let's get you. Yeah. Is her? Yep. <laughs> I don't trust her. <laughs> Where are the other ones? There was like four guys, and her friend. Okay. Well then. Oh! They got what they deserved. Is this made by the director of Hereditary? Safe now. Oh my god. Yuck. Dude, look at that. Blast it's like radius. Like an explosion. <laughs> yeah. What's the symbol gonna be? Oh, it's on. Oh, oh. the symbols! Oh. And a new one. Whoa, it's moving. Yeah. Does this all make the wolf? Yes, sir! Yeah. 
and, and a sparrow and, yeah. and a star. Why did you come? Everyone on the show is like so like handsome and beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, this guy's really good. Looking. I was gonna say maybe that's why I get so annoyed by people <laughs> right off the bat, <laughs> so, like, acting like they're hot shit. Is this what we're protecting? Dang. Game of Thrones, get your stuff together. Why did it never look like this? It's all you needed for Castle Rock, man. I want to see this Nilfgaardian army make a reappearance, man. Just this hidden... And I want to see the leader. Hidden impending doom, man. The White Flame! Yeah. The Emperor. Like, we saw... Technically, we saw the army in the first episode, but I wonder if it's, like, a bigger army? If it's that, just that army? If, is there more to it? I like that some of these mages have like a typical mage outfit, and then there's Jennifer in a wow. hot ass dress. And then that dude wearing like armor. Yeah. He's like wearing expert mage armor. <laughs> and that dude who was like, I suppose I do, was wearing novice. <laughs> Whoa. Was that Nilfgaard? I think. Yeah, that's a lot of people moving in. Was our bard here? He's the one playing music down there, don't you hear? This is what we have. That's why I asked. I forgot technically, Yennefer is like a what, 80 year old woman? Something like that. She is older. Whoa! I was gonna say, why can't the mages just make arrows? It's a give and take. It's magic. Sorry. What does that mean? Right. Like, Are you saying if I shoot it, it won't go through? It's like, it feels pretty damn real to me. Yeah. It's Wilberforce to be our new daddy. What? <laughs> yeah. You saved her. Oh, we did. I enlisted a witcher. Geralt? Geralt of Rivia. She's like, yeah. I don't wonder where fate took him. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Somewhere unpleasant, I'm sure. <laughs> Into her arms. So are you ready? Done. Yes. I've lived two or three lifetimes already. Okay, so she is you 300 years old? In any of them. But we cannot combat our no magic. We have magic too. Without rules or restrictions. Ah, the dark ways. I, until they are empty and powerless. I want to see her do some like special magic. <laughs> to honor the white flag. Hmm. So forget Princess Cirilla. With the general, we can take the continent. Enough. We will not lose her. Who's the general? The brotherhood's defenses. Another guy that we haven't met yet. But, but his field marshal or whatever is trying to get him to go a different direction, meet up with the rest of the army and the general. Where do you come from anyway? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. What the fudge? Yeah. All the sweating in your sleep. Yeah, I'm not well then. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Listen to the sound. Yeah. Fucking Sauron, man. <laughs> Woo that is so sick! Oh, the, the ancient magics. Again. The dark magics. Oh, you kill yourself to become that thing? Yeah, I think. That is cruddy. I hate that it's a, a give and take. Oh, I hate uh, that it sucks. The dark magic, man. That's so cruddy. Ew, I hate that. One left. It's insane, though. They're just wasting lives. I wouldn't want to turn at that point. They keep knocking them out. She's going someplace. She was the one who lost the hand, too. Back in the day. Pull the mages out. Oh my god. What? We will not lose what? Them. What? I thought, I'm sorry, I thought she was like, pull the mages out of the box. Just keep using them. Oh. My bad. 
And I was like, what did I miss? I was about to say, I was like, Adam, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the mystery box. Oh, what the fuck shit. is that? Dark magic. Just like the White Walkers, Sam, they yeah. come with the mist. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Why do they got nerf my man in the last episode? Ooh. It's our that looks so good. You have to cling to something. No wonder he got so big and strong. Uh, what? What? It's magic. It's not real. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Is, it, is he just re-entering a dream and he's able to talk to the golden dragon? Or was the golden dragon always there? No, I, I don't think it was always there. Maybe he can like enter into a dream state right now. That shares He's hallucinating, man. I don't know. This is like war band. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw that and I thought of trolls pushing that giant thing and yelling, Grog! Grog! <laughs> I love the one orc that is staring right at the camera. Granda! Granda! I really like these guys. <laughs> They're their outfits. I really like them. Aesthetically. Yeah. They don't have to kill themselves to do stinking magic, right? I hope they don't. Look at the swords. It's literally the orc swords from Skyrim. Like the jagged. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw like dragon bone. Whoa, toxins. Oh, it's gonna be like. Oh yeah, they're gonna start falling unconscious, vomiting or something. Yep. Uh, uh. So foul. It's working. Wow. That does the trick, man. That does the trick. Woo! Sounded so like some broken spines. Yeah. Oh, she was bleeding a lot. So this is where Eleven came from through the portal. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, totally. Perfect is that. You get to be like the battle commander talking to everybody's mind. Yeah, their armor is really sick. Yeah, it is. It really is. I like it a lot. Right now, they're getting kind of washed yeah. out. They need to start picking up. Come on, Milf Guard. No. Whoa! Let's go! Yes! Finally, a bladesman. Ooh! Let's we'll see that shot. They're getting that cool fight. Whoa! <gasps> what? He respawned in this. Yeah. Thing. I don't know. I like the other dude too. I like the. I like this dude too. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck the morning morning star guy. Stop losing your swords, dude. Stop yelling in his ear while he's fighting. You're gonna run out of swords. Oh, that's his list. Yeah. If you're a good swordsman, you would be able to collect the swords on the ground, sir. What the fudge? It's magic. Oh, it's taking over him. What do you want? Get to the center of it all. Sparta! I like this actor's. Oh! Like, what the fudge? Oh! He went fuck. far! Break. 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 What? <gasps> <gasps> that fog has to do something else. I think it's just a. a what? I think it's smoke screen. Shooting down that goes yeah, up. Yep. Oh snap! Oh, oh shit! Portal. Yeah, where did Tessa go? Uh, she was with okay. this. Shoot! I feel like it's like gonna be like a, mo a monster in that box. Open it up and it's just like a hell spawn. I want to see her do something awesome. It's not too late. She 
it's fighting for I didn't Jilla. tell you to stay out of this. Mm. You're worth more than Nilfgaard can ever give you. Come on. <clears throat> really? Oh! Ew! What the fudge? Take me to the Blue Mountains. That's the other side of Sun. It's impossible he'll die. You know, say it. Who? The dragon? Who? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. If we go past it, do we fall off the world? Where do we fall? Into another sphere? Oh, oh flat earther. Spheres, aren't there? I need water. Go. Fetch it for me. She probably dipped. <laughs> Cute kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little. Yep. Little Geralt. Ah. 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 How could you leave that little boy? Yeah. Whoa. Oh! Triss, engage! Can you buy us time? Please don't die. Oh, she's gonna die. You're so awesome. That arrow's gonna make it through. Oh, man. Oh, 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 yeah. That was close. You can keep the bodies in the vines and it makes it even thicker. Yeah. I just don't know how long she has to hold though. She, mine, her mind's taken over? Suicide bomber. What the heck is happening? Did her mind get taken over? Start killing everybody on the Was inside? Is she a... No, I think, I think somebody stole their mind. Somebody hijacked their mind or something. Oh! Uh, Crap, I think somebody took over the, the tower. Mines. The white flame? The oh white, boy, the white flame took over their minds? Oh no. I don't know. It's obvious. Because, Obviously, they're not there. It's yeah. all because the white flames. Sauron, Sauron has fixed his gaze. Yeah, shoot. What? Uh, oh! You too. Oh. Watch the show. Oh god. Oh no! Well, there goes the tower. Oh. Well, that was like Tokyo Ghoul, but so much. Tokyo Ghoul is so much worse. Yeah. It's like that. There's like an alien movie that ha that happens too. Yeah. Ugh. Star Trek has that too. Yeah. That's disgusting. I totally forgot about those worms. That means more people I have them, man. Shell shock. Oh, Ew. Ew. Um, I've been covering my ears. I hate that so much now. Think of that. It also happens kind of in the Matrix. Except it goes in his belly button. We can't give up. We can still fight. Oh, oh, she, was boy. That's oh. Awesome. she was making that out to a general announcement to the area. Dang, oh, man. God. Is anyone still alive? Oh, oh, dude, I can't believe he hit the edge of that rock yeah. like that. Oh, I forgot about him, man. No way that dude just gets up yeah. like that. Villiga faults. Villiga faults. Why? White flame? I don't know. Everybody sus. I don't trust anyone. Oh! What the heck? Uh oh. Probably. Mr. Geralt? Where the heck is Siri, man? She's still with that family. I know. Oh! Uh, Renfrey! All the women no, that's all his exes. Him. Oh no. They've all met up and now they're trying to kill him. <laughs> they learned that they've all been cheated on. <laughs> With Roach. <laughs> yeah. A real person? His mother, maybe? Why do you look at me? How do you like my eyes? Do you know, Chris? 
Testament. What they do for which to improve his eyes. Stop it. Do you know that it doesn't always work? Stop it. Three out of ten boys survive the trial. Mm. Tell me. At least you didn't know this before you left me on his doorstep. Please what? Sleep. Okay. Dang it. Where'd you go? The woman. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> you called out for so many. Oh, <laughs> 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 still got some fighters left. Yeah. To save these people, this continent, and this is your legacy. <laughs> no. I can't! Well, you can! Let your chaos explode. Hmm. Why didn't you say that from the start? I'm great at chaos. Farewell. Farewell, Tessaia. You are awesome. And kind of manipulative, but you know, you led her in the right direction. Let's yeah. do this, Yen. Whoever that dude is, he'll he's, down. he's getting a good KD in. <laughs> Some just random mage. He's like, I don't even know why I'm here. Oh, let's go. Holy. Powerful. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Saving the day, but not the trees. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. Fuck the earth. You can still make some plants on that piece of grass. It's all good. Yeah. Well, actually, even from doing that, the earth is going to regrow from that. Yes, sir. She was conscious. Saved one part. Holy moly. Hey! Finally! Who in the... The king who's... Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know yeah. who it is. I don't know why he's here. Oh my He's gosh. the Northern King. Yeah. Just didn't think people would be following him after his uh, scandal. Didn't know it never got out. Okay, the they had the secret. Cool. Yeah. I was meant to find you. This girl's like, I don't know about all that. <laughs> yeah. Well, everywhere I go, there's death. That's probably what she's thinking. So you're dead. Why isn't she talking? Sleep girl. I don't know. She's traumatized. Sleep. She ended up just like murdering. I mean, in self-defense. But like, you know, like four dudes and like a horse. She doesn't really know what's going on. Yeah. And her whole world so is So she does remember apart. that? I thought she just didn't know that was her. I mean, she probably She did say they came for me. I just don't think she can explain to people what, you know what I mean, what's so, happened to her. So I talk to demons in my head. They kind of explode people on the streets. <laughs> I'll summon <a> princess. <laughs> also, I'm very famous. Whoa. Where are we? To say that. Show me the white flame. <laughs> Yennefer! Oh, these angles are getting me. Yeah, I don't yeah. like it. Woozy. Yennefer! What? Uh, yeah, can we take it back, uh, like, 20 yeah. seconds? Mm -hmm. Before... We'll go back to, like, the woozy. I was making it more watch this again. It's making me sick. Yeah. Yennefer! Is Daryl really there? No. Yennefer. He has to go to the battlefield. I don't believe it. He's... Yennefer! Yennefer! They just happen to be in the same vicinity Yennefer! and not know that they're both calling to the same Yennefer! bloody person. What? Poor girl didn't even say bye. Yeah, the lady who just was like, I finally have a daughter. daughter. <laughs> well, that oh, now it. she's it! What? Yeah, yeah. Come on! Right. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! He I was the I dad, oh my gosh. I had a girl, an orphan. I found her in the woods nearby. Run. Run! Wow. Does he even know her name? Yeah, uh, he does. Yeah. 
Malsack said it last episode. Why just start screaming that name? Probably doesn't want to scare her because people are looking for her. Serious? She's right there. Yes. Please be there. Just to have a reunion for Pete's sakes. Yes! I don't believe it! No, it's it's a fake. It's a lie. Baloney. Yeah, right. Hey! Oh. And that, it's gonna end right fucking there. Finally. People think my destiny will always find each other. I don't believe it. No. Who is Yana? What? God! What? Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all had to wait two years. It's official next season is coming. <laughs> that was what, two years ago that message came out? <laughs> oh, rip to all the people waiting. What? Where is your scare? Yeah. <laughs> No white flame. Sorry. Yeah! It was so funny. The first time you're brought up, you're like, I mean, we don't even know if Will knows it, but I feel like he knows it or something like yeah. that. And I was like, yeah, nah, don't, bro. I'm no, sorry. It's funny. The end credits are playing up there, and then there's this message right here. <laughs> they were just really scared that people just thought that was the last of the show. Never come back. We made it. We made it. To the end. Another season finale in the books. Oh, goodness gracious, man. So. What What was the whole point of Vil Vilga Forge Mason the dude? What was the whole point of us seeing that? There was a lot of stuff to dissect. That dude, and half of it I don't know. <laughs> I don't know at all, man. Unanswered. 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 Like, way too many things. I'm completely lost. Where should we start? Do you want to start with Geralt or Yennefer? Uh, we can start with Yen. Yeah. So she was able to witness and, you know, really save the whole battle against Snilfgaard. Yeah, that power really came in handy. She was able yeah. to... Well, it's not... It's, is it telekinesis? What is it called again? When you're able to... Telepathy. She had telepathy, right? Yeah, to be able to speak to everybody. Which is, which is really a nice ability. It still didn't matter because most of them ended up dying, but it's still a nice perk to have where it's like... Instead of being a general who has to shout and go to different areas of a wall to get his point across or have lieutenants go and do their thing, yeah, you can just literally have open communication like on phone dial to everybody, let you know what's happening, which is cool. She stayed up in the tower. She watched all the points of interest and called out what was needed at the time. I think it was kind of a risk, though, because uh, Frangilla could also hear it, and she started communicating with her as well. Yeah. Now, whether or not it's like a vicinity thing, maybe it's because Frangilla got down on the battlefield at that point. That could be. Or, yeah, or she was listening the whole time, which is why they were getting washed a lot, right. of, a lot of the time. Could yeah. have been that she was always listening in. Uh, it was we, good seeing her be like a commander. Yeah. She they, knows her shit. They had a lot of cool cool powers. There was that like blue rock stuff, which yeah. like, was like shrapnel. Yeah. They had... Triss had that really cool like vine spell mm -hmm. and the mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms. Too. She, she's like an earthbender, like a natural earthbender. I don't know, yeah. a botanist bender. <laughs> yes, and that was that was pretty cool. She took out a lot of dudes with that thing, the the puking and uh, coral. She just, just did this, and then and they all just fucking died. It's like she like ripped out their spines or yeah. something, like cracked their bones, yeah. bent them inward or something. I, I, but it, it did. It, it took a toll on her. Both her nose. Holes started bleeding. And she had a brutal death. I liked the Nilfgaard stuff a bit more in terms of, like, power. Like, what they had. The box. I, well, like, even before that, well, the only downside is, like, you have to, like, kill yourself in order for these really cool abilities to take place. They had, like, these, almost like a Sauron cannonball yeah. that was, like, did you, it, did it sound like it was making sounds? Yes, it like, did. It was, it that's like what I said. Yeah. Voices that's why I said it. Sauron. Yeah, it had, like, really creepy voices and stuff. Maybe it was the White Flame. They channeled, like, Everybody has the white flame in you, and yeah, you have to sacrifice yourself to make him spawn or something. I don't that know. guy totally didn't want to do it. He was like, <laughs> he was I like, have uh, to. If I die, can I at least like go down and do yeah. something? Yeah. This, this is all worthless. Yeah. 
Well, you remember too in the last episode when they had that like mage meeting, they were like, they're using dark and forbidden magic, yeah. and she's like, there's no such thing. You guys are just like bitches, essentially. You know what I mean? Like you just don't want to do it. Yeah, and, and probably like she's, you're just too afraid to yeah. try it. Yeah. But it's like I would be. T- I don't want to die yeah. just to do a cool spell. It's worthless to me. Right. Three, three of those didn't even land. They all got tossed over the castle. Worthless. There goes your life. Good job. You tried out some edgy magic trick. You're so cool. Congrats. Anyway, I liked the little box. That was disgusting. Yeah. I, said, I thought it was gonna be like. I thought it was gonna like open a portal and just a giant thing emerges. But it was cool though. At the same time, the girl had. I'm assuming it got into her ear, took over her mind. And then she knew exactly to go to two other people who had, who were also taken over. So mm-hmm. it's like a hive yeah. mind. Yeah. Like once you're in, the the worms, vicinity, it's right. like yeah. you're just connected to the web. It's just it's a parasite. It's a host. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how like you even got up there. Like what happened that? It, do you just not feel it? Does it just swug? Yeah. Maybe it just like, yeah, creep. It feels way like in. a drop of sweat or something. Ugh. It's so so gross. foul. I mean, remember the the guy. The guy walked the box up into the keep and yeah. then just died and yeah. dropped it. Yeah. And then she, she said something in Elder and it opened. I, I initially thought when she went to stab Yennefer, I was like, if this is the freaking main villain and this is the reveal, I'm about to be so pissed because I have no idea who this freaking Yeah, we've never met lame, Sabrina. This random wizard. She just, was one of the people she went to school with in yeah, the beginning. But like, yeah. you wouldn't know unless uh, yeah. you rewatched the bloody show. It's right. like, who is this person? Like, Frangilla has a very distinguishable look. She's very present. She talks in, like, all the scenes, you know? The one who lost her hand. She was the one yeah. who did the spell and freaking lost it. And they're like, nope, we gotta try again. So, of course... I'm oh, yeah, remember. she wasn't... You have to hold the flower. Yeah, she, yeah. Didn't, she didn't hold whatever it was. She just committed to the chaos and pretty yeah. much died. I'm glad to say it. And, um... Triss? Triss. Triss, I'm glad they're still alive. I hope I, I, we didn't see Trish yeah, after she was uh, burned. Yeah, I'm not sure. She was laying in the ground crying, and we never and visited her. Vilgafor! What the, what the fuck was the point of us seeing that? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if I like that dude no. to begin with, first of all. I mean, his power was really fucking cool when he came out of the portal, and gah! That was sick. That was the coolest scene. Like, yeah. visually, he's awesome. Yeah. Except he kept on losing his bloody swords. And couldn't even, like, he had to just keep on calling magic, which is kind of a bum-ass thing. And he, he wouldn't listen to Yen, either. Yeah, imagine. Imagine just having a voice in your head as you're trying to focus in a fight. How yeah. annoying that must be. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, backseat driving. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't really remember the Dark Archer's name, but I, I like him, mm-hmm. <laughs> honestly. He's got I, a cool look. He does have a cool look. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, during the battle, I was like... I mean, I'm kind of voting for Frangilla and the Dark Bladed guy. Not Bad that. guy apologist. Yeah, every exactly. fucking show. They're, they're cool. See, here's the thing. Every Here, show. No, no, I'm not, I don't. I'm not. It's not even that. that, that don't be. Don't be crazy. Come on. What What I actually like. My biggest gripe about the episode is like most of the people I don't care for. Yeah. Like I don't feel the stakes that much because it's like the only one that I kind of like on the good team is Yennefer. But like to say as. The nicest thing I can say about her is she kind of cares about Yen, but she's yes. been a tool shed the entire show. True. Triss we only had in one episode, and if you're not including the meeting that she was a part of. And then everybody else are no names. Like, the dude with the swords is cool. We just met him last episode. Spying on, Yen. you know, Yen and Istrid. Like, and I like, her, too. I like Istrid. <laughs> like, if he was at this fight, I would have felt, like, the stakes more. Or, like, Yaskir, or... But hell, he's he, with the rocks. I know, but, like... What I'm saying is, like, we spent time caring for, like, Yaskir, at least Istra to some degree, and Siri, and even Geralt, all of who were not in, like, really... Like, I knew Geralt wasn't gonna die, but, like, all the characters we've spent time with, we didn't get to, like, have in this fight. Yeah. So, like, I was like, whatever. Like, the only characters I thought were cool from this aesthetically are the bad guys, and it's like, so, yeah, I'm putting my vote on them right now. And Yen, I know, is not gonna die, so it's like, I'm not scared... But the fight was cool, regardless. the 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 spectacle of it all was really cool. I, I I'm like, I like Jennifer. She's she's pretty cool, and her story's been kind of interesting. But I feel like it's it's peaked. 
like all, all I can think of is she's she's just one of power and she has it. So it's like, what else is her character going to do? Yeah. So I wasn't heavily invested in her story. I'm more invested in Geralt's story, and he took a back back seat this episode. So I, I, I don't think this was a fantastic episode. Or at least for at least for a finale stand. Yeah, exactly. I I don't I wouldn't consider this a finale. Well, I'd say it's only a shame because like they chose to focus on. Yeah, all, all the backseat characters. Exactly. I mean. Like, Ger- Geralt... Uh, here's what I was saying. Like, I-, I started really getting into the show because Geralt is starting to become vulnerable. Right. Emotion-wise, he's starting to express himself more. Mm-hmm. And even Siri, there's, like, this mi- mystery to her. And even she got back We back still don't know seat. anything about her. And she... What's even worse? She didn't talk at all the whole bloody... No, she didn't. <laughs> she said one sentence at the beginning and then asked one question Damn. at the end. For Witcher fans... I'm sorry y'all had to wait two years, because yeah. I'd be grinding at my teeth to be getting more right now. Yeah. What you gotta remember, too, is, like, this, like, the whole first season is not, like, this isn't even, like, close to the main story. Yeah. Not that it's oh, not it has, leading, yeah. it not that, that it's not yeah. leading to the main story, but, like, the gist of what people are fans of in this series, whether it's the books or the video games, it's like, the lore. this is literally just, like, the background lore. Yeah. So... Yeah. And I mean, like, my first time watching it, like, I, like, my, my gripes with the show were just, like, the confusion at the beginning. Just because it, it takes you out of it. But, I mean, I kind of like the approach they did at the end to give a little bit of, like, a spectacle. And also, because we got a little, we got to be into Geralt's, like, backstory a little bit. I mean, like, we haven't really touched on his past and how mm-hmm. he became a, a witcher. witcher. Um, and even just, like, switching gears to talk about him. I mean, we got to see... His a mother. little bit of him, his mother, and like what she did to him. I mean, without without specifics of him being dropped off, um, and then doing whatever trial it is to become a witcher yeah. at a young age, like um, real young. We got whatever that person's name is who made him a witcher, Vesemir. 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 Yeah, and see, like I didn't even get to really feel the the gravity of the fact that the mom just ditched him because like the music was playing happy Mm -hmm. and half of it was like grainy or at least like they're they're doing the camera where it's like so it's like like as opposed to just like sitting in the moment of the fact that this mom just left a kid i didn't really get to feel that because they just kind of quickly went away from it and what was the point of the golden dragon being there it was tripping here's here's what i think here's what i think which would be cool you think he's met him before no, no, no. Like, what if, like, the, because the dragon talks, like, into people's conscious, he doesn't openly verbally speak. What if it was, like, because Geralt's, like, high or drugged up or, like, tired and he's in this, like, dream world state that mm-hmm. it's, like, the subconscious. Maybe the dragon can appear and, like, talk to him there. Oh, really? I don't, did, I don't know. Didn't mm. he say none of it's real? Isn't he it did. Real? Sure. The dragon but... did say that. No, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, I'm saying that's the... I'm like agreeing with you in the sense that that's the dragon telling him, "Hey, none of what you're seeing is real right now. Like you're, you're yeah. tripping. Like get back to normal." Yeah, yeah. I think it would be cool if it was like this. This guy can just be a, a guide in his subconscious occasionally. T- to I don't. It wouldn't work all the time because this is a very specific event where he got put into a dream state because of his bite and his infection and him going in and out of consciousness. I just thought it would be really cool if it's like this dragon because they don't speak with their mouths and they speak with their mind that he could like almost like Charles Xavier like put themselves in a um I, I know what you're what's not about. heaven or hell like a purgatory like yeah. fake world yeah and just speak to people what the hell a dream state just yeah. speak a moon dream state that'd be really cool like that that's actually it's such a small part but that actually interests me a lot in the episode because I really did like the dragon from the last the golden dragon from that yeah. one episode I am curious about the other dream world we got I think it was like a dream world. There was like that dark. It was like a dark realm, like in a almost an oblivion realm where uh, Geralt and oh T- Tessa, Tessa were like mm-hmm. both think... in Facendi yelling out the yen, and Siri heard it. Yeah, I mean, I think that it was. I mean, at least from what I gather in the show, is like that was actually t- that was just the burn. Like that was the aftermath of what Yen did at the end of that battle. The so Geralt round. made it to the battlefield. No, he was tripping out and just screaming for okay. Yennefer. I don't, like. I don't know if it like. 
not to discredit the show, but I don't know if, like, that was supposed to be, like, any type of, like, foreshadowing or extra thing. That was just, I think that it was just him in his sleep. I mean, he's been crying out for all these random women. Ren- Renfrey, his mother. Yeah. Yennefer. Vesemir. He's been saying that name. And, like, then he has a dream right when, right after Yennefer has, like, basically killed herself. You know what I mean? And we don't know, like, what connection they might have. You know what I mean? Like... It seems like he knew something was up with Yennefer and he was calling out to Yennefer. Yeah. And then at the same time, Ciri's like, she can hear everything that's going on. She, they they yeah. are linked with you the know. wish. Who's yeah. Yennefer? <laughs> that I just don't understand why Tessaia was there. Like, it just... Yeah. The Be- camera... Good. Oh, uh, the camera was just shaking so much, so I just assumed they all got put in some, like, weird... I don't know, Dream some co- some connective tissue where yeah. they're all just yeah. linked together in some, like, web... I mean, maybe, but she was condition. she was literally standing just where like the rock that Jennifer just died, not died, but where she just like burned everything on and you know disappeared wherever she went. Yeah, I don't even know. I yeah. didn't even think of that. We just yeah, didn't that's see when her. you just said that Jennifer died, and I was so confused when yeah, you said yeah, that, no. but you just clarified. No, I just meant like she disappeared. I mean, yeah. well, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I, I was going to bring it up. We don't know what happened more. to her. We haven't seen any more. There's no more TV show to dissect the animals. Yeah. You know, it's just like, um, you don't know where she at. She could be captured by Nilfgaard for all we know. Right. Gosh, man. We didn't even see, like, what Nilfgaard is doing now. We saw Red Feather Dude looking at the burning forest. Just, mm. And, well, and then that northern army finally pulled up. That's, after, that. After they spent all that time, they spent a whole day fighting, or at least a whole 12 hours. I mean, it went from nighttime to daytime to nighttime again. Yeah, fighting the mages. Most of the people evacuated almost immediately from the fight, but uh, clearly it wasn't the whole Nilfgaard army. Like no, they said the portion. Were, I was yeah. gonna, it was a tiny portion because they got mollywopped by like twenty wizards. You know. Yeah. And I got an answer to my question at the very beginning. What was your question? What What is Nilfgaard's intention? Is their end goal? Centra? No, they want to take the whole continent. Yeah. Yep. They're going to the north. Yeah. Which. They lied to the Said it from the start, like, oh, surprise. Yeah. The surprise, you know. We are totally only serving the middle ground of all this. Yeah. There's no double standard. There's no hidden objective. <laughs> we hate you so much for being twisted and lying. Also, we're going to be twisted and lie. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, go figure. <laughs> it's crazy. But overall, a, a solid season. A solid it season was. of a fantasy uh, show. I love the show. I wish that there was more fantasy out there to enjoy. So I'm yeah. glad that Witcher's stepping up and Netflix is working with them to get the show out. I'm glad there's a second season for sure. If there was not and this was just ended, I would hate it. Yeah, I'd be pretty yeah. pissed. If, if there was not more coming, uh, to you know. Like, well, there's, we're so, it's a so early on. Bullshit cliffhanger. Like, this, honestly, this feels like only like a halfway point in the first book right you know like there's yeah. so many things that i would have thought would have happened by now yeah but um which is fine because knowing there's more it's uh, exciting it's, you know uh, we're, st- we're a very early stepping stone we've right. very surface levelly had the three main characters interact yennefer and Geralt very briefly for an episode and a half like if time wise spent like i mean it was two episodes but actually being together was like an episode and a half and then Siri literally not at all. So, yeah. And you scared didn't make it in this episode, but I, I, I can't. I can't imagine that he wasn't a fan favorite. You exactly. Know? I was just about to say that. Like, there's no way the show's so bloody gloom and doom. You can't not like the Bard, who's in a bloody like. He's a he's a main character. You'll see him again. <laughs> exactly. You'll yeah. see him again. Exactly. So it's like I'm not. A bum hurt hurt that he wasn't here with his banjo to crack a head over a mage, but like he'll be back. <laughs> Um, All Siri did this entire season was run. Yeah. Just run. I, I, over the entire season, she was my least yeah. interested uh, aspect of the story, except for her little mystery. I really did not enjoy the whole force that she went into. That It was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. Well, I can't even think like what actually happened there. Like Nothing. The, they can always... I hope they, it, it, like, I, I don't even want to say it. I hope they go back to that, because there was the whole, <laughs> she drank the juice, and then we went to the, the Wakanda. purple Wakanda fo- uh, desert, and the tree talked to her, and then nothing. Didn't even touch it. What's the point? Please go back to that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, if I feel. Maybe. Like, if I feel interested. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, guys. Remember, 
We're so used to getting spoon fed shit. You don't get answers for stuff right away. But that's the thing. We will I will lose interest because they've yeah. they've given us like thirty things to like half focus on and then never retouched on. What thirty things are there to focus on? Alright, let's go through the bloody list. Who the hell was all this night mother stuff with all the sisters yeah, exactly. and all that? Why see, why do they you, why do they make it so important and then just make Exactly it, Well it they kept was, on bringing it up. Are, are we gonna see more of Stragabore? It was it was one, see here's the thing. I think that we like focus too much on like because we overanalyze stuff. We, We're reactors. We have to do that. I understand that. I'm not saying that that makes for good content. But when it comes to like actually progressing and seeing what's happening in the story, like that was one instance about something that happened. Like once they clarify the timeline and you realize, okay, that happened mad long ago, and that's not something that's like it's not that it's not relevant. And I could be wrong. I haven't read the books. I haven't played all the games, so maybe it is something that becomes relevant later on. But as far as I can gather, it was just an instance. It's like a means to an end of sh- getting rent free to be involved with Geralt. Like that's it. Like it's just like a piece of yeah. lore to add into it. Yeah. I just I don't know. I, I guess there was. I feel like there was a lot of moments spent on things that in the entirety of the show won't matter. Where I'd feel like I'd rather have the time spent on every scene being like valid to the overarching story. So I guess I don't know. Or maybe just clarification. I feel like because this is a fantasy world, there's so many things that just need more explanation like i don't understand how the potions work i'm still not really 100 percent sure on like how all magic stuff works i feel like we see new spells every other day so it's like i don't know at what point i don't know where characters levels are like it's so hard to know yeah. where yennefer's place like i know she's the most powerful but it's like how do i know that like the coolest thing i've seen her do power wise is that the fire thing yeah but like i would also say like there's other tricks i've seen that are just as cool from other mages yeah there's so many different creatures it's like i don't know where things rank in the world the rarities of things that that's that is another problem with the show is that the show there's only eight episodes and it's such a big expansive world yeah that's like you know multiple 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 books very long video game series like the games are like longer than like anything else in the fucking world you know what i mean like and they're great and like very deep and a lot of deep in detail of like a lot of what's going on. Didn't, so. the, didn't the third one get game of the year? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like yeah. just in story, I think it's like over a hundred plus hours. Like yeah. not including. I was DLC. about to ask that. And it's not even that, like it's a needs to be a spoon fed thing. Like Game of Thrones was a very complicated show. But they they focused on like only three stories at most and it was very clear what like the story was going to be so that you could Focus your energy on certain things and not have to worry about if you missed about the story of who shat down in the streets of King's Landing kind mm. of stuff. Like where this, it's like I don't know. It's it's hard, and then because they show so many like mysterious elements it's of like, should I choose? Is that something to like focus on? Okay, yeah. this guy just has a golden plated armor. This guy just got bit by something. I don't know. Like I don't know what yeah. to focus on. I think it's hard too because like. Geralt's story is kind of like over, almost like a cop show, overarching theme, but like random incidents in the middle, and then you have like Yennefer, that's kind of like a progression of mm-hmm. an of a just a story, like it's like her personal development, and then serial happens in like a week within a week. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, well, that there's that on too. There's yeah. the whole time confusion thing over on top an already convoluted story. So you yeah. got time that you're trying to figure out where things are placed on top of a story that's already kind of hard to figure out where things belong in a non-realistic world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. If they didn't have to jump over, like, a hundred years of Yennefer's storyline, like, I feel like it would be better fleshed out. Right. Not even if they did it all at the same time, like, you know exactly what the timeline is. Like, they could keep it a mystery. It's just the fact that they have to go through. It's like, this is from your 18 or your 16 to, like, 30, and then this is from 30 to 102. You yeah. Know I mean, like, they just make crazy jumps and, right. like, where the world just kind of keeps on shifting. Yeah, I think... I, uh, I think the first, like three episodes decided to choose a very risky move in doing that. Yeah. The only alternative I can think of for like when stories do a reveal of things are not the same time as you thought is like when you've already, you have a single time period for the three episodes and then you focus on Yennefer and be like, Oh, you thought she was this young girl. Let me take you back on episode four, a whole flashback of yeah. her past. 
where we can no. specifically focus on it instead of doing this little here and here game as you're trying to bring new viewers into a world. So I think that would be the only thing I would have done different in terms of that development. Um, what are you most interested in plot like plot wise going forward? What Geralt and Siri. What's gonna happen between those two? I'm most interested to see what's up with Nilfgaard. I really wanna know why for the past eight episodes They've just been assaulting everything. Well it's I think it's more darker than just like Frangilla trying to enter into this this special magic like we didn't get any real like and i think people were trying to like tell us in the comments that the white flame is not a big deal I, whatever i, I didn't read yeah. it fully because like until that the show tells me it's not a big deal because the show's been making a big deal i'll wait to see they've been there's this hidden white flame they keep talking about we've been name dropped so many times there ha there's a leader that has yet to be right and say so here's here's the thing even if it's by the books it's not a big deal the show has made it a big deal so I will treat it as an audience member that it's a big deal until the show itself tells me it's not a big deal. I wanted to ask at the very beginning when Geralt was fighting those ghouls, was that Nilfgaard's doing or just a random thing? No, just a random, random thing. Event. Random. I forget what those are called. Okay, so I've played like the first like two hours of the Witcher, the third Witcher game, and you fight them, and I forget what they're called. I mean, it's it's essentially a ghoul. They're just like undead yeah. that just like roam in like woods and forests and like they pop out at night did they have anything to do with those corpses or did they were they just there oh i think that they just like they're they i don't know if they feast on like dead things okay. but they just like they lurk near the dead all right yeah, that was cool yeah no, very cool things the show always had like really good like i mean this store this story universe whatever you want to call it like they have like really cool monsters and yeah they did a good job to like integrate that in on top of the storyline mm -hmm. and all that what are you you said you're most excited for Nilfgaard and or you want to find out about Nilfgaard and yeah I, I want to know more about the world like I'm trying to think of like how I would go about it because this is like a, a world of a lot of things it seems like we didn't even touch back on the elves or whatever with the yeah. like, the, the king fawn looking guy like that that's like a thing like I hope that like as the show progresses it can touch back on things that the show chose to spend time on i'd like to see more witchers too I would the, like show, to the show's not called gareth rivia it's the witcher yeah so well, the he, witcher. he is the witcher he is though. the witcher not the witchers hey that one dude was also the witcher but that the witcher got asked he was a uh, he got a disrespect clapped. to the witchers he got off so quick imagine living your life and then that's how you go down you just get butchered in some like back tavern uh meat storage facility he also made the witchers look bad though he was the dude where like you pay me up front then i'll go do that task where Geralt is like i'll do the task and then you pay me yeah. Well, hey, maybe all the witchers are like that, and Geralt's the X Factor, the only one who has some honor. We don't know. Maybe yeah. they're all just trash people. Yeah, but then, we don't know. but then he see he meets Trish, Triss, and they he goes he looks at his corpse and he's like, "You made us look bad by by saying that." Yeah, I mean that's. So you're saying the guy wasn't a bad guy? Oh, he was definitely a bad guy. There you go. <laughs> I just want to see like how I mean because we know like Jennifer and them are gonna be like a group together. Yeah. Like I'm just curious like what is Siri's power ability? Why is she so special? And like what are like what are Geralt and, and Jennifer like? What's the goal? Do. Yeah. Are we just going to protect her, or is there like some like teacher stuff? Higher purpose that right. she's meant for yeah, in the universe, right? That, you know, maybe has been alluded to, maybe hasn't. I don't know. If it was, I didn't pick up on yeah, it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know at all. I'm completely clueless. I don't even think it's, like, worthless trying to guess, but I have so many factors I'm not aware of, I'm sure, in the show <laughs> that it would really be a terrible shot in the dark. I will say she's maybe the the light to fight the light flame. She is the anti-white <laughs> flame. She's the dark flame? She's the dark flame. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, just because the dark flame, I guess it can still be the good guy. I don't know. It's just the color. Who was your favorite character? And now you can answer this because you're Geralt. up with us. I was like Geralt. Geralt's my my favorite. I mean, he's just fun. Good, <laughs> good, good balance of uh, humor and actual like emotion, and especially he he had the best character development. He did the show. Mm -hmm. Although I will say Yennefer's end, and even that conversation with Tissa of like 
Um, like, you know you're... Li- like, you know, she spent all this time trying to find, like, what's her reason for living. Like, she wants power. She wants to be powerful. She doesn't care about that anymore. She wants to have a kid. You know, she cares about that still. And it's like, no, your legacy is, like, you're going to be, like, one of the saviors of this world. So, I appreciate that. Because that's a good realization to push her into, like, the next set of storylines, my opinion. But, Geralt. Adam. Geralt. 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 <laughs> oh, maybe Roach. Not even Yaskier? Yeah, I was going to say Yaskier first, I but then to I was say like, him. you know, I like Geralt. Whatever. Yeah. It's obvious. I like Geralt. Of I want to see more of Yaskier. Yeah. Get a fucking tumor in your neck, man. It, it didn't take long Fuck. for me to like Geralt, too. Like, I liked him, I think it was episode three, when he had his... And it took it took until his first, like, emotional moment where he was just on the bridge with that king who yeah. was dealing with the scandal. Yeah. And they just said there was, like, this quiet moment, calm music playing, and that's when I think I was like, yeah, I like him. I, I can see there's something underneath his cold exterior. And yeah, Yaskir, I even warmed up to, too. I got annoyed initially. Because he was just a really loud person. Uh, you, the first few episodes, you're like, oh, this guy's so obnoxious. And like the next two, you're like, oh my god, I love this guy. He's so great. <laughs> yeah. I, I like, uh, it, it takes a bit sometimes. Yeah, and I still haven't fully come around to it yet. Yeah. It, I still, I don't know. I, I, I don't, the story feels like it's all over the place with what she wants. And I know, like, there was that big realization of this finale. I just wish that it hadn't taken till the finale so that I didn't have to, like, never know how I felt with her. Like, I, I liked Istrid more than I enjoyed her. I liked Siri, Even though Siri didn't do much, like, I liked Siri. Like, she's a sweet kid. I liked... Like, she even had a story arc that I could... Like, was, like, easy to follow. It's like she's in such a naive place in the world. Character upon character she keeps encountering just keeps on screwing her over and screwing her over or leaving her or betraying her. She feels confused. I feel how Siri feels in this world. I don't know how to take anything. Yeah. And so I'm just left quiet and I don't know how to perceive. So I just sit there and wait till Geralt comes and holds me in his arms (laughs) and says, it's all going to be all right. We got Roach to ride away on. I really like to say, uh, too. To say, uh, yeah. Yeah. She's... She was very manipulative, but you could tell she really cared about Yennefer. Yeah, I just feel like she took. She's taken too long to. Gosh. Did she even do anything? Did we see her do anything crazy this episode? Nope. She got fucked. She got destroyed. She got that little breath. The the dem dementium or whatever it was called. Just the black smoke. The black smoke thrown in her face. face. Yeah. Like gave her like dementium or something. Something. She gave her like TB. Something (laughs) I don't want, man. Mm. Uh, Queen Calanthe was a badass. Even though she was kind of a sack of shit. But I really sure. liked her. And her husband. Her husband was cool. The main Nilfgaard guy? The main Oh, Nilfgaard the feather guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... The whole shapeshifter. I really only aesthetic. like him for his aesthetic, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, he hasn't done a whole lot. He hasn't talked a whole lot. He... <laughs> he looks like the high elves from Skyrim. That man has the longest yeah. jaw I have ever seen. <laughs> it is almost yeah. insane. And a yeah. giant forehead. Yeah. Well, like, I just look at the dude. I'm not hating on you. You're a handsome guy, okay? You'll never watch these reactions, whatever. You look you like know. a high elf from Skyrim because that's the fantasy world that I can relate to the most watching this show because I never played the Witcher games and I'm not going to because I don't want to spoil in case there's any potential things that we come across in this future of this show or what elf from lord of the rings he looks like yeah i mean he looks very elf like he's got very like model features also kind of built like adam driver yeah like, the tall, wide torso tall and, like, wide long torso. Arms. yeah hey, no exactly <laughs> like, like the dude's really lanky and yet somehow i'm sure he's very like built underneath yeah. all of that i am also curious about like fringilla too like i'm curious to know like what made her go dark what made her like not want to be a part like i know she didn't like the manipulation but neither yeah. did yennefer so what what made it for her that she just tilted more in a different direction and the led, white flame. Like, led the fall of Nilfgaard. Yeah. yeah like yeah. what what was her turn moment how did she come across the white yeah. flame that she feels so like in the right that murdering people is like how you do the the like i don't know she she thinks she's like cleansing the world of its darkness by just purifying it through fire yeah like it's very melisandre she is absolutely pulling the strings 100 you think she's behind it all not not all of it but like i feel like we're made to believe the 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 feather dude is the one who's leading this whole army and this whole assault 
And she's totally the one pulling the strings. Well, power scale wise, I'd say she's far more powerful than feathered, feathered man. I mean, she can probably torch him if she wanted yeah. to. He's just a dude with fighting skills, as far as I'm aware. She does keep like lifting him up, though. Say, did, the one episode with the the fucking doppelganger, yeah, she was like, like, "You're you're, you're the, the one here." Yeah. yeah. You're the reason we're so, here. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's just like a power play, manipulating him, making him think he's the um, leader of it, and just operating him behind. Sh- that, him. Ac- yeah. that actress is good at being a villain, because I don't like her, and I oh, want yeah. her to die so bad. Maybe the White Flame has secret plans, and he's... Or the king of this world. You, It was Emperor M- 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 Fear or something? You yes. picked up the name in the yeah. last episode. There, It's like an emperor. There's an yeah. emperor, and then some deity he, he worships, or like an idea, I don't know. A, phil- a philosophy, the White Flame. So maybe the emperor is using Frangilla to manipulate this dude who thinks he's hot shit, um, even though I think he's pretty tough. Um, yeah. Because I mean, he did beat the guy. The, he that, did. Like, that magician-y swordsman. Yeah, he's tough. So, yeah. And what is the deal with that guy? I don't know. I, you know, honestly, Was it another earworm thing? No. no. Well, I mean, it could be. I don't know. I will say the way I took it when I first watched it was that... It was just like, what well, he was just like the guy was already dying, and he did yeah. this to help me. So I thought it was like a mercy kill when he did that. When he did the extra hits on him, then I was like, is he pissed off about like the way the fight's going? Because that dude got his ass handed to him. Yeah. But it's also weird that he literally hit like a rock that was pointed. That like, was massive. Like he looked to like the he head. Sh- he should have fucking died. Yeah. He just, he just popped up like he was okay. So I don't. I don't know. I'm not really e- sure. Even the way Jennifer was like looking in are on you him. With, are you with are, us? Well, yeah. Before that, before he as he. Was tumbling down the hill and then he smacked it it was kind of like the like he lost the phone call yeah. yeah and there was that too like are you still with us yeah 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 i I, I, the, I thought he was gonna go for the mercy kill and then he took the mason first hit was across the skull it's yeah. like you would think it would at least be for the neck or something yeah it's, it's wicked i don't i, I joke I saying he's the white flame i don't think that's, that's what i'm thinking no, no, no. maybe the I, white flame like I just, i'm him. not sure i forgot there was an emperor so i i the people who watched the first half of this commentary that we're saying are going to hate me, but like I th- I'm pretty sure that there's an emperor and that the white flame is either an idea or just a, a deity. I don't think it's like Sauron, who's like a sp- superhuman entity. Right. Um, I could be wrong, too, about that. I'm really not sure. Uh, I don't necessarily want enough. that answered. Yeah. Um, and yes, as I said, I will focus on it until they tell me not to exactly. focus on it. <laughs> Even if it might not be big, big in the I, books. I, and I think it's important. I don't, I, yeah, it, definitely. It's not, it's not a... It's not a. At least from like my understanding or to what it is, like I think it's something that's important to like the grand scheme sure. of the show and the story. Like I won't even follow the the book readers necessarily because the show can do its own thing if it mm-hmm. wants to do its own thing. Like I, yeah. I can't watch Game of Thrones and purely act off of my knowledge of A Song of Ice and Fire and think that's going to be the full canon when I analyze a show that only has like 60% of the actual source material, you know? Yeah. There's different equations. Overall, I'd say it's the show's like a solid B plus for me. Yeah, I was really, going to say I like enjoyed a, it. a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm really excited for part two. I heard Jason Momoa is like cast maybe in the second season mm. wow, I, I didn't hear that I think that'd be I haven't pretty... like looked into any of that stuff so yeah I, I think I saw that before oh like, I even watched yes. the show you sent me that before I remember that yeah idea. I think I had heard about it before the show so I, I still don't know what that means it might not even be true but favorite episodes my three favorite episodes are the golden dragon quest the in this order Oh, no. If we're doing favorites, if we're doing favorites, then my favorite episode was actually episode three. The is that, episode is that with, the one where they fight the abortion thing? Yeah. The, that yeah, is my favorite episode. episode. It's, it's the episode with the Yennefer reveal. Yennefer transforms, and Geralt has, in my opinion, the coolest fight against the Striga. Uh, and we had the whole scandal at the castle. I just found right, that episode really interesting. So good. Man, I have to like look back at the list of episodes real quick. The genie episode. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I will say the genie was my second favorite, yeah. and then the dragon quest was my third favorite. That, that's my exact list. Too. Yeah, <laughs> there. Exactly. One, two, three. Yep. yep. Okay. There you go. Abortion. Uh, tumor. Tumor and golden dragon. <laughs>
<laughs> what about you, Will? Perfect way to describe it. So bad. What happened to the last episode? You said, Adam, you're like, the whole time around, you're like, that was my favorite episode. I love that. Uh, the Wizard Council was a good scene. Oh, why? It was just that? Because it was a tense moment? Yeah. But did you enjoy that episode overall? Like, as I like don't remember time? anything else that happened egg, except egg, for that. Exactly. It is not a top three. <laughs> That was the Geralt reveal that he was there the whole time. And it, oh, that was a cool reveal. That, I, that, was. I, I, that was a really that's cool a, that's reveal. That's top five. <laughs> but it's not a top three. <laughs> yeah, it's top three. There's only eight, so... <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. Exactly. Uh, my top eight episodes are... Um, <laughs> I guess... I don't know if I can really order them all that much, but I, I'll say the... I don't think you ever do that. Whatever we ask this question, he's always like, it's not in this order. I was just thinking the same damn thing. He's like, it's not in this order. He's like, Will can't commit to his favorite. He just like, here's my favorites. Well, you're my favorites, yeah. That's why I always say I always say 1A, 1B, 1C. You know what I mean? Because they're all up there. And then when we did My Hero, we were like, favorite episode, and Will was like, well, if I have to do that, I have to do two. It's so true. It is. It's so true. Commit! I can commit just Sorry. to like multiple. <laughs> Sorry. Um, my favorite was probably the it's the genie episode, yeah. and then I'd say I would say this episode, and everyone will hate me for it, but people won't actually. Who cares? I love. First episode. I love. No, no, the this one we just watched. No, it's my number. No, two. I got you. Is I like I don't know why, but like I just got so happy when Siri and Geralt were like finally together. Yeah, that was good. Like it was a good fight, a lot of spectacle. We got a little bit of like background and like some stuff I did know about Geralt already, like going into the show when I watched it, and also just like fi- like I don't know, it was like a weight off. Like I hate. I don't hate. I like watching it shows, but it makes me so uncomfortable when it's always like this impending doom. Especially when it's against kids who like can't do anything. Like Siri can't defend herself. She no. has no idea. She's literally gotten lucky by like the skin of her teeth that she survived this long. And um She's literally airy. And yeah. Like that's actually that's legit. The, that's the first thing I think of. But I, I just as soon as he like she was like in his arms, I was like, Oh yes. Thank God. Um and then I felt like we finally got to see Yennefer really do some like cool stuff. So that was two. And then three, I'll say the dragon episode. That's a really cool one. Mm-hmm. Great adventure. Great little, like, not super important to, like, the, st- I mean, there was series stuff in it that was important, but not super important to the story. It was just, like, a really good, like, one-off adventure we got to see. Yeah. See, I wish I could even have enjoyed the Siri and uh, Geralt hug, but, like, you I didn't- was... I, could, I didn't know if it was real or not. Yeah. The whole show, like, Geralt was delusional. Yeah, it was. And I didn't even think they went in the same direction. I thought she went north and he went uh, west. So yeah, she went... Yeah. She went up there and he went that way. Yeah. So when I saw, I was like, there's a bloody trick. So I got robbed of my, like, emotional moment. Yeah. Because the whole, like, bloody episode, I was trying to figure out what is real and what isn't. Yeah, but <laughs> why, the, why did she run back? But the girl in the woods... Yeah, yeah, no, the girl I, 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 I hear you. your destiny. I hear man. you. I hear the prophecy, but like, I didn't know there was some connective, like, ethereal thing that has them all bound to each other, like a trio. I don't know. I've really liked your point that we're seeing Geralt is becoming vulnerable. Yeah, which he's makes me. Up. I'm wondering, is it really important that we're seeing like his mother? Like, do you think we're gonna go back to that? At some point, I would hope so. Okay. For I sure. mean, I feel like that's a pretty critical moment in his life. You know, mm-hmm. that's why I was also kind of annoyed that they kind of robbed me with the weird happy music during that, like the yeah. reveal that he just got left. Yeah. Because that's a pretty big deal. Like it's a it's a bloody child. He yes. said he said they left. He was left on. Um, Vesemir's Vesemir's doorstep. All we saw was a road. Yeah, we don't know. Like <laughs> we did. We did see him running away from that guy. It just I just take those things as metaphorical. Like you could have Radagast, who's like doorstep is the two trees that you got left by. Right. It's like, like I said, we got dragons, we got ghouls. If this is the doorstep, I'm just gonna trust this is wherever this dude's right <laughs> doorstep is yeah. metaphorically or maybe literally. Maybe it's the bite behind the shrubs. You know, who, who the hell knows? I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. How many boys did he say survived the trial? Three, Three out, out of ten. ten. Jesus. Thirty percent. Yeah. It's terrible. And yeah. the whole thing with the eyes. It's like the reason... The, I think that their eyes aren't just like that color. They're like, you know... Something they, happens. Well, that, but I mean like they... Like they're... I don't know if like they get good eyesight or... You know what I mean? We haven't been explained that. But whatever it is, it doesn't work. And it's probably painful as fuck. Like yeah. it doesn't always work on the first try. What did he say? He's like, do you know what what happened? 
what it took to get these eyes or something. Yeah, because probably probably fucking had like a lobotomy almost. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. Or a vasectomy. <laughs> I think that was off camera. You won't get that inside joke. That definitely uh, was off camera. <laughs> it uh, was. I will say, because I give Yen so much crap, I will say acting-wise, I think everybody is really talented in the show. I think Yen's a really good actress. I yeah, she think is. Geralt's really talented. Especially her her original form yeah, well, that's, is really that's good. more of a physical thing. I don't know how yeah. much it was her or like the actual thing, but just like her in general, I think she's a really good actress. Um, she's a very complicated character. Uh, I think Geralt's, that the Henry Cavill's really talented. I, Perfect for a role. It's like because like you watch someone like Superman, he's so like you know such a clean farm mm-hmm. middle American country dude who's like uh, so Perfect. so chill, so like yeah. And then you got Geralt who's like such a Rugged. hardcore guy, yeah. and it's like it's the same dude, but like it almost it doesn't even feel like yeah. it. you would think that he was just gonna be like this very boring character. And Geralt has a lot of like very a very complicated and dark past behind. You him. nailed it. Yeah, I, I I can't speak for the video game or book fans, but I feel like you probably guys got a treat having him as a your character brought to f- uh, real life because I think he's really good. Can't speak because I don't know the actual guy, but I think the actual girl. you said in the beginning of the series that he nailed the voice for the video games. Literally, I mean, yeah, it's a different voice act. It's a voice actor that sounds different, but like. Just like the way he talks and like the Mannerism. the tone of voice and like man, it just perfect. It was I'm curious incredible. what he sounds like in the game. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, he literally, he sounds like Henry. I feel like Henry Cavill might be a little bit deeper, but he's got a really deep voice, anyways. Yeah. But it's like not much. Like so, what what you see is pretty much what you get with him. Yeah. I've seen DLC for that third game where um, Geralt has a white outfit with the white hair. Looks fucking awesome. Just, just dye your hair. Grow it out long enough. I, I, that's the plan. I'm growing the hair back out, and I'm going to dye it white. Perfect. That's and the get, plan, just because of this show. Yellow eye contacts. We'll see about that. My eyes are very sensitive. I'm it. scared about that. Not cool. And I don't feel like scratching my pupils like you Gotta did do in high school. Gotta do it if you want to be cool. I have to do it. Gotta do it. Or you're... I don't want to put them on backwards like you did. I didn't put them on backwards. I... Nah, whatever. You good? How'd you scratch your eyes? I kept them in too long. <laughs> Jesus. Probably didn't want them. And they were cheap. Guys, if you you made it this far, make sure you leave a like on these videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can show your support. We're going to be definitely watching season two, so you guys got to stay tuned for whenever that drops. Maybe soon, maybe a long time from now, but still stay because we are definitely watching it. Uh, And then leave some comments about what you guys thought when you first watched this. And if you enjoyed our reaction, let us know what you thought of it. We're going to see you guys. Punch it. Blah!